How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. And we're going to be dedicating this video to my martial arts master friend Wushong. Wushong is a wielder of gauntlets and spear. He has very good signature moves. I've done multiple videos on him in the past. And uh, he's one of my all-time favorite characters. And I think he's probably a lot of your guys' all-time favorite as well. Because there's a lot of people that like Wushong. And uh, today we're going to be doing some ranked 1v1, continuing uh, grinding some of that glory and working our way towards diamond slowly but surely. Going against game over a core player. All right. Kind of struggling to get his footing here. There we go. First stock and I'm only in yellow, so that's a great start. Oh, he dodged. Oh, I didn't get that gravity cancel. Yo! <laughs> what do you do it there? Uh-oh. Yo, the ground pound was nasty. Uh-oh. That hammer will hurt a lot. Oh, if I get hit. Got to be really careful and just kill him before I get hit. Oh, the boulder got me, finally. Oh, man. I hope you guys are all having a good day, wherever you guys might be. I've been just chilling and playing some Brahalla Rocket League, The Witcher 3. Uh, watching my friend play the new Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. Doing some yard work every now and then. All right, dude, that was a good stock. Now I actually have to focus and finish this out. Let's go, boys. He's playing a little bit desperate still, which means he's playing emotionally, which means he's not really playing the most smartest game of his life. Like that wasn't smart. He actually had a really good comeback there, but then he started to just get kind of crazy and and fanatic, like frantic. Um, you gotta stay calm, cool, and collected, man. You gotta be a lethal assassin, you know. Even if you're getting your butt kicked and it, you're you're facing what seems like insurmountable odds, you have to just be calm and collected and go for it, man. Like you know you can do it, even if it's a reverse three sock. Which, in that situation we were just in, it was just, we were both on our final stocks. And uh, he was kind of acting like it was a reverse three stock. He had momentum going into that too, because he had just killed me pretty easily too. That's alright. Hey, Wushong mirror match. Alright. Going against Yaba. This is a pretty fun gauntlet match so far. Let's 
Let's get the spear. Never mind. For that neutral sig oh I had a recovery psych I think everybody thought I did not have a recovery there bit of damage I got on him right there gave me more and more of a lead which was really important because it seemed really evenly matched up until that point oh man I got him yep that uh, ground pound slide off with the gauntlets will just suck you up I nearly died there, but I didn't. If you guys enjoy Brawlhalla content, please go ahead and drop a like on this video. I really appreciate it. Especially if you're a Wuxiang main, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Oh, nice side sig. Hold that. No, no. The double side, uh, side air, side light, <laughs> whatever. GG dude, GG. And just like that, boys, we're almost back to a brand new peak elo. Um, let's do gentleman Wuxiang. I do have black colors. I guess I could do black. All right, going against Brandon Soul in the X Legion clan, playing a Heartbreaker Barraza. That's a that's a I don't know if it's called Heartbreaker, but it's a skin that you can only get during Valentine's Day time event, whatever. Which um, actually should be coming out fairly soon, like in a month or two. Take it. I did a lot of damage. He's almost out of, uh... Nevermind. I kept trying to go through the platform and it just wouldn't let me. Got him. Woo, boy. Let's go, boys. First stock. For a new peak elo. I thought I should have picked him up with that side light. Oh. 
Oh boy, here comes the axe. And I know how to use the axe, and I know that he knows how to use the axe. did that. Oh, he could have killed me there probably with a recovery. What a close sock. Oh, a little bit too close to the edge there. That's a close game though. The entire game has been close. He's... Wow, GG. Was a close game. <laughs> was a close game. Look at the damage. It was very close, but he kind of killed himself on that final stock there. I mean, I don't even... Like, what happened? Let's look. I just want to look really quick. What happened here? He hit me over there. Honestly, I thought... At this point, I'm just thinking, if I could do any damage at all, just to give myself a little bit of a lead, that would be great. He's hanging down there, so I'm just going to put out this huge hitbox right there. Look at this size of that hitbox coming out it just covers a great area he tried to go around it and then he thought maybe i should go to the left but then he was like ah it's too late and he tried to go to the right and pop she got him right during his recovery which means that he couldn't do another one all right um let's go with the frog squad we're gonna go green frog Actually, D classic colors just looks really good. Let's do Reino Wushong. This this skin is from Rivals of Aether, which is a another game uh, that's kind of similar to Brawlhalla, but not really. The only way it's similar really is they're both 2D fighters, alternative to Super Smash Bros. Rivals of Aether is not free, and you have to pay a lot of money for the legends themselves. Whereas Brahala is free to play and you can unlock every single legend for free if you want. You only have to pay for skins. I didn't mind rivals, but when I saw the price tag on just buying regular legends, I was like, nah. That and the combat, I didn't really like that much. But a lot of people do like it, so. Should have just went for the weapon a little earlier, I think. Oh, buddy! You could have punished me so hard there, but you instead you walked into it. Ooh, I I did neutral light. You even heard the sound come out, and yet it didn't counter him. I have uh, played cannon a lot as of late. 
so I kind of know how to counter it a little better now. That was close. Oh my goodness, he keeps going for haymakers instead of just picking up the, the weapon. What a hit on that axe recovery, or whatever it was. It was either recovery or ground pound. Keep coming at me strong like that, dude. I like it because it means that I can counter him. I'll take some hits, but that's okay. Very close game. Wow, I was literally behind him on that, I'm pretty sure. GG, dude, GG, that was a great game. Oh man, so we're, we're at 1840, which is like, it was my peak when the video started, but there, hold on, I wanna see. I, I felt like I was behind him on that axe swing, which I'm pretty sure I was. All right, we'll show these. That was good, that was good. He got there, I got the weapon. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. He had a great dodge right here. And then, weapon spawns. He grabs it. Oh, that was so close to hitting him right here. Oh wow, look how close I was to getting hit from that hurt box. So I dodged that by a millimeter. And then he picks up the axe. Okay, okay. So he's like right on top of me. That little pink circle hit my hit box by a millimeter. And that's all it took. Alright guys, well GG's anyways, that was a... Uh, you know, and that's, you know, pretty typical Brawlhalla. A lot of games are decided by just millimeter uh, hitbox hits like that. And that's why it's important to go into training, turn the hitbox and hurtboxes on, and actually look at how they work. Because if you know exactly how those hitboxes and hurtboxes work, you can definitely use it to your advantage. And sometimes games, actually a lot of times, games are decided by those tiny, tiny fractions of space you know, and nothing else. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed guys. It was really fun playing some Wuxiang. If you did, please drop a like. And I, this is Lucian Sword guys. As always, I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy guys.